Hello everyone and welcome back to this new video. In previous video we have keyframed our chili layers and in this video we will keyframe our remaining layers and we will also create our motion graphics for other layers. As you can see in our current scene only our three chili layers are moving and other movement is due to our camera movement and all the other busted chili layers and bigger pepper layers and all the olive layers are not moving now so we need to apply some motion to it we want that there is some slight rotation in these layers so that we can get little bit of that 3d kind of feel from the scene currently only three layers are moving you can see from the scene and when you look in the side view or you can say when you look in the top view you can see we have our six layers selected and when you batch select multiple layers you can get handle for changing their position altogether but one thing you should keep in mind whenever you select multiple layers and if you move one handle all the layers will be affected because in that way that same keyframe parameters will be applied to multiple layers so that is why this thing you need to keep in mind whenever you are trying to apply keyframing to multiple layers in a single go that same keyframing will be applied to all the selected layers although you can see multiple draggable handles but whenever you will try to drag those handles and whenever you will try to change the position you will affect the keyframes of all the selected layers so that thing you need to keep in mind so as you can see now i have selected this red pepper layer and we want little bit of rotation so let's just start our keyframing for the z rotation and just keep your playhead at the time duration when you want your rotation to start give your rotation value you can see we have applied our first keyframe here wait let me just adjust the rotation value this will be good enough for our rotation and we also want to apply the rotation to our second pepper layer so by selecting that layer i have also created our first keyframe but keep one thing in mind you should not forget the distance with the camera you can see that our first pepper layer is closer to the camera so it will rotate with must much faster speed actually if both pepper layers are rotating with similar speed then also you will have to keyframe both the layers in such a way that the layer which is closer to the camera should have high speed and the layer which is away from the camera should have lower speed because you would have seen in actual scenes the object which is away from the camera always moves in slow speed although both the objects are moving with the same speed but in reality this is the illusion we get that the object which is away always moves in slow speed so for creating that 3d illusion we are doing the same thing we are creating our rotation keyframes for both the pepper layers but we are keeping this thing in mind that the rotation for our near layer should be more and rotation for the far layer should be less now you can see we have applied both keyframes 
and both our paper layers are now rotating in a very mild fashion. And it is also giving these layers a 3D kind of feel because previously they were too static and whenever there is too many static layers they always look like 2D layers in these situations. So we need to add little bit of feel to these layers so that is why we have added slight rotation and we have also played with the rotation value our front paper is rotating in much higher degree and our previous paper that is the paper which is away from the camera is rotating at low angle so it is again creating an illusion of depth of field Now I have selected all the busted chili layers and this time we want to apply slight clockwise rotation and as you can see all these layers are placed in circular fashion so we can apply similar keyframes to all these layers so that is why I have selected all the layers together and I am applying same keyframing to the rotation parameters of all the three layers it will not only save us time but it will also synchronize the motion of these three layers so that our burst effect looks more prominent Now you can see we have all these olive layers and there are too many olive layers. Now you can see we have all these olive layers and these olive layers are so much uh, and you can see we have so many olive layers. So first we can select all these layers and we just apply bunch keyframing. So you can see by changing the parameters of only single layer we have applied keyframes to all these layers and how we have done that we have selected all the layers first then we have selected the parameter of any one layer and we have changed and we have key applied keyframing to that layer and that same keyframing is applied to all the layers but you should keep in mind sometimes Overdoing this batch keyframing is not good for you because whenever we have small layers in that manner it can work like you can see in previous function when we have applied bunch keyframing to all these burst layers they looked good but now since all these olive layers are moving in different direction and also they are present in different sides of pizza if we apply same kind of keyframing to all these olive layers they will not look good although we have applied the keyframing but when I will play this keyframing then you will know what I am trying to say some of you might be thinking it is, it is such a time saver that we can apply a direct keyframing to multiple layers but it is not good every time you need to select when you want to apply a batch keyframing and when you want to apply single keyframing and when you develop that mind of selection that when you need to choose bunch keyframing and when you need to choose single keyframing at that time your editing game will improve
as you can see when I play since we have applied similar keyframes the olive layers which are present to the left are moving in right direction due to the splash but our olive layers which are present in right of the pizza are also moving to the left direction because we have applied same keyframing so this thing I was talking about although it has saved our time by applying keyframing to all the layers but sometimes we do not require that so another way of doing and saving our time is that we need to divide all these layers into bunch like we can divide all these olive layers into two bunches one can be the layers which lie to the left side other can be the layer which lie to the right side of the pizza so that we can apply different keyframing to the layers which are to the right and we can apply different keyframing to the layers which are to the left so when all these layers will play they will create a realistic kind of effect currently they are looking too much of animated Currently they are looking bad because all the layers are moving in same direction and this is completely ruining our effect of 3D splash. We want that all our ingredients should be moving away from the pizza such that there is a burst. And we want that all the ingredients should move away from the pizza due to its rotation but in this you can see all the layers which are to the left are following that but all the layers which are to the right are not following that so we need to correct all these things so now we have bunch selected our layers we have selected some of our layers which we want to change we have not selected all the olive layers we have only selected some of those layers for which we want to apply different keyframing As you can see, we have applied some keyframes, but still it is not looking up to the point. So we need to change the keyframing for more layers. Still, uh, some of our layers which are to the right are moving towards left, and we do not want that. So, this was the point I was mentioning in this video. I was telling you about applying keyframes so what you have learned in this video so it, from this video we can take down three points first thing is that you can apply single keyframing and you can also apply multiple keyframing which means you can apply keyframing in bunch and second thing is that bunch keyframing saves your time but it can also ruin your complete project if you do not consider it or if you do not use it cautiously because you can see for saving time I have applied keyframes here but it it is just looking opposite to what I expected so there are three points which you can take from this video first is that you can apply keyframing to a single layer and you can also apply keyframing to multiple layers and it is called batch keyframing and but during application of batch keyframing you need to keep one thing in mind that it can ruin your project or it can save your time so you need to be cautious about applying that keyframing correctly and third thing is that for applying that keyframing correctly you can also divide all these layers into a bunch of different layers with same characteristics and apply 
batch keyframing to those layers so it will also save your time and it will also look good so this was it for this video in this video we have learned how not to apply a keyframing and how not to apply a bunch keyframing because it can ruin your project if done incorrectly so thanks for watching